channel. Today is going to be quite a short one. We are finally going to attempt to do something with this storage box. I bought this months ago. As you guys would know if you watched that video, I'll link it up the top. I have been really stuck with what to do with this. I knew I didn't want it just white, but it's also not wood, so I can't sand it back and stain it to the color I would have liked to have it. But as you saw last week, I found this vinyl that's a dark wood kind of color. So I'm going to try wrap just the lid in this just to give it a little bit of a different look. Um, I don't know how it's going to go, but I've been sitting on this for so long that it just needs to be done. <laughs> Very quickly, before I jump into building this, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. That's an insane number to me. Um, I... I re it really means a lot to me. I don't even know what to say at this point. I keep, like, every couple of weeks, I'm saying thank you to you guys because our little com community? Our little community is just growing and growing and it's so exciting to me. So keep it going, guys. I love it. Okay, let's open this guy up. I'm gonna have to move you guys so far back. Hold, please. Okay. That's a bit better. I cannot see you for the life of me now because I don't have my glasses on, but we're going to build this. Let's see if we need any tools or anything. Imagine if it was broken and I bought it so long ago that I can't do anything about it. Okay, it looks like I put the lid on last, which is good because we want to wrap that. All right, take all the pieces out. This is simplified into way too little instructions. <laughs> it has four steps, but there's like a million pieces. So, let's do it. Uh, okay, okay. This is very fiddly and awkward. Okay, should be easier now because the bottom one is in, so I don't have to hold as much. So these are definitely, definitely the right pieces to put together, right? This middle hole here <laughs> is supposed to line up with that hole. This one up here, they line up. This one don't. What am I doing? Oh, it goes on the other side. <laughs> My god, really throwing myself for a loop here. What the? Okay, so like that, right? Right, I wonder if this one will line up because it looks like it's exactly the same as that. Nope. Oh my gosh, and look. It's already broken. Cheap is great for some things, and in other situations, it's just not a good time. Why are you not going in? Ah, oh, this guy fell out. Much better. Alrighty. I've just realized why nothing lines up and I am going to eat my words because I fucked up. <laughs> oh no. See this line? meant to be at the bottom with those lines. God damn it, undo everything. Fail. Luckily, everything is easy to undo with this. Start again, do they line up now? Yep, now we're on the right track. Oh my goodness, so much for a short video. Okay, that took me way longer than it should have because I messed it up. <laughs> but it is built. This is the main part, obviously. I haven't put the lid on yet because I want to change the lid. But now I need to put um, little hinges on, I think. Yep, I need to put the hinges on here and then I can get started on covering that. 
We have hinges. They hinge. Wonderful. Now I need to cover this in the vinyl and then make sure that I still have access to these holes. My main concern is all the dog hair. <laughs> I'm gonna get a towel to put on the carpet <laughs> because I'm cleaning our vacuum filter so I haven't vacuumed in here for like two days. I can definitely feel them but I want to mark where the holes are with a pencil. It is exceptionally sticky, which is great, but also a pain in the behind. I don't know how the corners are going to turn out. This will be interesting. Alrighty. Oh no, there's so many bubbles. Better. Great, but better. So awkward. Oh, with one person. Just rubbing them seems to be making them go away. I just realized that you probably haven't been able to see most of what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna angle you down. Okay. It's not the best in the world. The edges are a bit funny because they are curved. So they have a bit of bubble and stuff to them. I'm tossing up whether I want to put another square piece here. I kind of do, just so it looks a bit neater. It was quite easy to poke the holes out. So I didn't need to do this. I don't really need to cover it because it's the inside of the lid. It doesn't really matter. If it annoys me too much, I will come back and I'll put um, more across the inside. For now, let's put on the hinges. This is apparently how it's done. I don't know. Oh god, this is so fiddly. Yay! I built the thing. Ooh, it looks cool. here but it uh it fun it's loud this little tiny section here annoys me <laughs> probably can't even see it well you probably can because it's bright white but I think it looks really nice I am pleasantly surprised I thought it was gonna be a disaster it almost was a disaster when I nearly completely ruined everything but this is way more sturdy like it still wobbles but it's way more sturdy than the uh, ones we have now that twist and I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the way how the vinyl looks on the top it looks shocking on the sides because of the curve it's so bubbly but it actually doesn't look that bad on the top I think it will scratch really easily but that's fine it's just a laundry basket until we renovate the laundry and Evan makes some cool ones Pleasantly surprised with how this turned out, but it still would look a lot nicer if it was real wood and I could stain it all back and sand it to be this kind of color. But beggars can't be choosers, you know. All right, that's it for today. What other little DIYs would you like to see me do around the house? Leave a comment below and we can have a chat about it. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel and check out this video to follow along with more of my shopping addiction. <laughs> There's also a playlist too. <laughs>